Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today I'm answering a question. I was gonna add it into a Q&A later on in, in the month, um, but I realized when I started kind of thinking about what I was gonna say, that I had so much to say about this topic from what I've researched that I want to pass on to you, that there was no way I was gonna be able to fit it. It would take up the whole Q&A. And I've got other, thing, other questions that you have asked me over the last few months that I need to answer in the Q&A. So, doing a video about the high school diploma all by itself. Now, I'm gonna begin this by saying I have not done the high school diploma yet with any of my children. It's just a future plan. I am literally just sharing my research with you that I have learned from other people who are already doing it or have already done it. <sighs> I'm gonna yawn all the way through. So annoying. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be reading from a sheet. It feels like the old out school days when I was doing videos on there and sometimes I read from a sheet. Um, but I've got so much to say, I don't wanna forget anything. I don't wanna go off on tangents. So here we are. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Emma and I share all sorts of things about home education and occasionally about family life with a house full of neurodiverse people. Uh, myself, my husband and my three children, all of us, crazy. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It makes me super happy when you do. And we are almost at 2,000 subscribers. That's insane. Um, I am so excited about where this channel is going and I'm really glad to be back in the swing of things. So, without further ado, let's uh, get on to my points. And there were going to be 10 and then I realised there was like 15. So, I've just thrown out the windows. There's no numbers anymore. So uh, my first point is um, if you are beginning thinking about your high school diploma, whether your child is um, a teenager already or like mine, just 11, and you're just thinking about what's going to be around the corner, having a little peek, what's going to look like for our child, um, then you, your first decision, are you going to go it alone? Are you going to home educate the whole thing? Home educate, like do the transcript yourself um, and do all of that yourself, or are you going to use an umbrella school? And so I did talk another a um, in my other video about what's next for Charles. I did talk about an umbrella school very briefly, and an umbrella school is just someone who um, collects all of the grades and that you have given to your child because you do have to grade. But we'll talk about that more in a minute. And all of the work that you've done with your child and just puts it into a transcript, which is essentially like a report of what you've done over the four years of high school. Um, that's what they do. They also are there to give you support throughout the year and help where they can. Um, <sighs> I'm a yawning monster. Um, so after a lot of research, because this method isn't super well known in home ed circles at the moment uh, in the UK, uh, we and we've never done it before as i've said well, this is what we're looking at to doing for charles um when he hits kind of the 14 15 mark and he is currently 11 and a half um so we've decided to use an umbrella school um there are there are two main ones that i've been recommended and the, because and mainly because they let you choose your own resources they're not going to say well you have to use this book um they are in america because umbrella schools are a thing in america they're obviously not a thing over here as i said in my previous video um it's, it's the oversee the state requirements in America. We don't have that here, um, but they are just going to, they're gonna not be doing as much for us as UK, UK home educators than they are for US home educators. Um, so these two, as far as I've been told, let you, lose your own, you use your own resources, create your own courses, and uh, let you design your child's education that suits your family and your child's needs. Uh, and they are Home School Directive and Home Life Academy. Uh, we are probably going to go with Home Life Academy for two reasons. Um, one, based on the openness of their website, they lay everything out, all of their requirements, all of their support, um, all of their fees, because I think that's really, really important. A lot of us are... It seems to be either single parent families or single income families. There may be two parents, but we're single income families. There aren't huge amounts of us that are two income families. Um, it's just because one of us needs to be home educating and it's hard work to do that and work. I do know a few people who both parents work and, and they home educate and I hats off to them because it's tough. It's tough. Um, so yeah, I like how everything on the Home Life Academy website is laid out for you and their customer service is amazing i'm not a client of them yet i 
have asked them so many questions on their live chat they are patient with me they are uh they give really good explanations and they're just really really friendly um so I would definitely recommend them. I don't have any experience about homeschool directive. There are a lot of people on the Facebook group I've linked below. H-E success without exams. That is the Facebook group that I've linked below. Um, if you are not using an umbrella school, then you are gonna need to pick a state in America to use as a template for your high school diploma for your child. I did some research and I found this link, um, it's in the description, it's got capital letters and it says state requirements for high school diploma, so have a check, um, have a check, have a check, and I can't speak today, evening, anyway, um, so yes, check out that link below and um, check out the requirements, pick one that fits what you want to do, um, some of them have got maybe three electives, other them have like eight electives, some of them have an overall credit of like 26 or maybe they want 18 or whatever okay pick the one that you think is best um so if you are using an umbrella school then you will need to look at their requirements and use those um so here are three examples of the pathways that, pathways that you can take with the home life academy um they have they also have a special education educational needs pathway that has some the same requirements as the life choice but you can use modified um modified um, class material material so for example if your child has special educational needs and they are not doing GCSE level work they're doing key stage three which is your seven year year nine then you can um, when you do your educational plan which I will talk about in a minute you can say modified so they had to do key stage three biology so GCSE biology because they're not yet there yet right then you say modified biology because they're making allowances and making modifications to suit your child's needs so if you may if you think you may need the modified path and your child does have special educational needs um, so there are three examples of the pathways that you can use on the home life academy website links in the description again i've labeled everything so you know what you're supposed to be looking for um there's one pathway if your child wants to go to they've put college they mean university um then there's another the second pathway is for if they want to do a voc do vocational college that's things like hairdressing um beauty uh they want to go into the military they want to um maybe do a diploma first like any kind of vocational apprenticeship anything like that right that's 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 potentially that one um, and then there's the life choice one which is maybe you're not planning to do higher education um, you just or you if you are you're going to be going into um, something else um, so but those are the three options you can again you can pick which one based on your child's goals and you can pick it when you start you don't have to pick it right now obviously um, so the next thing is uh, you will see on that when you check it out that it talks about credits. So a credit, um, you can usually have like a year of study is going to be one credit, okay? So say you work through GCSE English Language, just throwing that out there. That is going to, and that takes you, it's a GCSE course, two years, right? So that's two credits because it's taken you two years to do it. It's taken you 150, so one credit is 150 hours. So say that the GCSE English language takes you 300 hours as a, as a thing to complete, right? That's gonna be two credits as an example, okay? So of course, 75 hours is half a credit and, and you can't, I mean, you can't really say I did. Obviously then like 37.5 hours is gonna be a quarter of a credit, but you can't really do, like that's just that's just making it complicated, right? So, um, so Home Life Academy has told me that it's entirely up to us as parent educators what an hour of education looks like. So, for example, this might be watching YouTube videos for an hour um, on the subject that you're doing. It might be say you're doing history and you're doing World War Two. Might be watching documentaries on YouTube. It might be watching um, documentaries on Netflix. It might be going to a museum. I mean, if you're in a museum that's all about World War Two and you're there four hours, that's four hours, right? Four hours is four hours. Um, it could be researching, it could be going to the library, it could be classes, it could be tutoring, it could be online classes, it could be reading books, etc. You get the point, okay? Um, so it's entirely up to us to build what we're looking at and up to our child like they can build it I mean, okay hey, well I'm not really I, I know what maybe I'm maybe the child maybe your child's dyslexic and they really really are not good at reading but videos right up their street documentaries right up their street 
being read to right up their street, then do it. They've still digested that, they've still read that book, but if you're reading it to them, it doesn't matter, okay? So you get to design what it looks like with your child. Um, so moving on, resources for English, maths and science. Um, the idea here is that you're using senior school level books, right? Unless you're doing a modified or special education pathway. Uh, preferably like GCSE or equivalent. That might be like, um, you know, the functional skills, for example. That's what I'm going to talk about in a minute, but like functional skills, that sort of thing. Um, you can use UQ resources or ones from other countries. We're going to be using the functional skills at entry level three, level one and level two for English and maths um, over the four years. So because how long it's going to take us, we'll make it give us four credits. Um, for science, we'll be using the CGP books. I always say them wrong, it's like CPG or something like that. CGP books uh, for combined science at GCSE level. Charles is very scientifically minded, he gets it. Um, so I think he'll be fine there. Um, the CGP books include experiments, which are easy to do at home. And I um, have a, um, I have found a couple of websites where you can buy different chemicals for science experiments um, as, as schools and as tutors and things like that. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try really hard not to lose my voice. I've got like a tiny sip of drink here. These are my favorite things, Volvo Touch of Fruit. I will drink them all day long. They're my favorite drinks ever. Um, I recently found a watermelon flavor, which I'd never had before, but I digress. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing those experiments at home so so he can still have that experience um moving on to other subjects the home life academy says you need u.s history um if you check out those pathway links it says u.s history uh, i have checked with them about this and i was like i don't really want to do u.s history no offense guys um and they said we're in as you're in the uk it's only from it's only u.s history is only for people who are living in the u.s so if we suddenly decided to up sticks and mahoos to the united states never gonna happen really sorry gang um then we would have to do US history. But we're in the UK, so guess what we're gonna do, peeps? We're gonna do UK history. That's what they said, they want you to do the history of your country, so that's fine, we can do UK history. We were gonna do UK history anyway. Um, and oh yeah, so we'll probably use a mix of CGP books, Twinkle resources, with a mix of Key Stage 3 and GCC material, because they're not that different, if I'm honest. Um, as well as field trips, reading books, watching documentaries, and maybe even trips abroad, depending on what he wants to do. History topic wise, um, I'm leaving that to him. However, I am going to say, I may give him like three or four options and be like, these are the ones that aren't going to make me want to scream, but I love history. So there's very few historical topics that I'm not gonna be interested in doing uh, with him. And I'm not gonna like really, really struggle to do it with him. So he's gonna be good. Uh, so then the next one on the list was social studies and that is two credits and social studies. I have learned our class does anthropology, economics, politics, psychology, sociology, history, law, linguistics, archeology span and geography. So I think we'll probably do an extra year of history um, and then geography as well. I've kind of said, you've gotta do geography, you gotta learn around about the world around us it's important um, however Charles may choose to do maybe half a credit of two of the above instead of an extra year of history so he might choose to do half a credit of psychology and half a credit of archaeology for example or he might choose to do something completely different and that's fine because we're doing history and geography anyway um, and that one I'm gonna leave up to him what he fancies uh, so then the next thing on the thing is personal finance and um, that is nice and easy. There is a Khan Academy course that is high school level about personal finance. Bish, bash, bosh. Hello, editing Emma here. Uh, that was part one. The video is 30 minutes long. Um, so I'm, I'm, you all, all of your time is really precious and valuable. So I don't expect you to spend 30 minutes listening to me go on and on. So this is part one. I'll be back with part two tomorrow and you can check that out. Um, and, and let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. It makes me happy and it's free. Bye.